Hey, this is Dr. Josh Wagner, and I'm with Dr. Andrew Robson, who's actually in the UK, and is going to share after it's probably been about six months now inside the Perfect Patient Funnel System, the differences in how practice was before implementing these strategies and how it is now. Uh, everything from the, the energy and the mindset and, and how it felt, as well as, uh, you know, positives and increase. So, Andrew, thank you for being on here with me and uh, share with chiropractors because they can really relate those feelings I know you've had and sometimes still do uh, because of your connection with with other associates of, of what it's like. Well, it's first, first of all, thanks, Josh, for just you know inviting me to do this. It's a, it's a real privilege and allowing me to talk about perfect patient funnel system. Uh, just going back then to sort of January time when I first uh, came across your, your material back then, uh, it was uh, it was a very stressful time. Just generally in practice, uh, I felt, you know, as all, especially in the report of findings, that I wasn't really being myself. I was sort of having to work off scripts, and I was having to go through a, a kind of prepared formula and telling people stuff that you know didn't really resonate with me and. There was a disconnect between what I really thought and, and what I was saying, and I think patients picked up on that. And what that meant was it was it was very stressful because I felt like I was having to put on an act, and mm. you can't just cut that off when the report of findings ends. It it, it carries over into your, your your life outside the practice. You spend a lot of time stressing and just worrying about, um, you know, am I how am I performing in front of people, and uh, it really does drag you down a bit. Absolutely. Uh, any any other aspects besides the report of findings that just really wasn't congruent with you or made you feel uncomfortable? Well, yeah, absolutely. It just generally always having to, and because it was scripted so much, drop in little things every now and again that were totally designed to I enforce compliance. Um, possibly the best example was... Uh, having to do the what was called the health class, but what you refer to as a lay lecture um, for new patients. And um, just knowing that I was standing there very uncomfortable in my own skin going through this because uh, what it basically amounted to was a few exercises, but uh, a bit of a pitch really to encourage people from, you know, bear in mind they've only started treatment in that week probably, talking how crucial lifetime care was and then handing out referral cards to for them to give to all their friends as well. Uh, yeah, so like anything that just it kind of felt like maybe bait and switch or just a little too just doesn't resonate with you, right? Yeah, it just it just didn't. I felt I felt it, it, it was too pushy. It didn't take account of what what anyone wanted, and uh, especially it, when handing out the referral the referral cards, I just felt. I, I thought I couldn't look people in the eye because I, I thought, well, you know, you haven't got what you wanted yet. I've only seen you for the first time a couple of days ago, and I'm already, well, not even wanting to. I'm already having to be, you know, ref try and get you to bring other people in, and this is just going to, you know, damage damage my connection with you. So, yeah, and, and there, I mean, that's that was the most obvious example, but there were just lots of little little things that were all designed to. Uh, you know, generate compliance, and you know, it made me feel, you know, a bit fake. And I could see that actually, it didn't really work that well in the long run. Mm. And you know, interesting. And I think it was just a week ago or so, you recently emailed me that half of your new patients coming in now are from referral, and that's pretty awesome. Yeah, exactly. Well, that was another thing back back in back in when I was before I started PPFS, I was getting lots of great results, but like I virtually no referrals and I couldn't understand it and now you know having been doing PPFS for several months I suddenly saw this what, an explosion of referrals basically all heaps of people just bringing partners children friends parents in all sorts of things that I, I just was never getting before because uh, well I, I felt that you know looking back now I can see that a lot of the stuff I was doing was just uh, you know, the report of finding situations were very stressful for patients, and you know I, I felt they, you know, in retrospect, they probably didn't want their uh, friends and family and children to be put through that same experience. Absolutely, and and 
to follow up with that. So now you're getting a bunch of referrals and you're not doing the things that made you feel uncomfortable and probably made the patients feel uncomfortable, right? So it's, it's even easier. You're just being yourself. Exactly. It's, it's even easier. They, they know, you know, I, I've not done that kind of thing with the, their friends that referred them, and I can just be myself. I can just sit back, listen to, you know, what's going on, what they're, you know, what's, you know, what's, how, is it, how is, it, is it making them feel, what they want out of this, and assuming we can help, I just, I just tell them, you know, yes, I can help. This is what it's going to take, and, and let's go. And they're, they're more than happy to do that. Excellent. And, you know, it reminds me of a conversation we were having a couple of weeks ago where you mentioned, uh, you know, in the past being out at a, at a screening and seeing someone you knew and kind of not even wanting to tell them about coming in for care because the way you were practicing then, based on other models, just you didn't feel comfortable even telling someone you knew about that. And, and I can absolutely. I have too. I really can. Yeah, absolutely. That that was that was just a, you know, a, a moment of clarity when I, you know, I, I, in the town I work in, I don't know that many people. So so out of the blue, I suddenly saw someone in that I knew and I liked a lot in that context. Uh, it all brought brought it home to me. I just, you know, I, I did not want someone I knew and cared about to be put in the kind of position that I, you know, they, I knew they would be. So yeah. Yeah. Now, anything you could share of just more of the freedom of that you're experiencing now, besides you know more uh, referrals increase, but just, just the internal freedom. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, you know, I don't, I don't have sleepless nights anymore. I don't wake up at mm. five thirty in the morning with, you know, with that horrible feeling in the pit of your stomach, knowing that a certain person is coming in for a report of findings or a certain person. You know, it's going to be difficult. I just, you know, I, I go in nice and easy and, you know, I, I just tell people I can be myself, basically. I don't have to act. I don't have to write a script. I can just be myself and, you know, practice is more enjoyable. It's also busy, but it's not just that. It's more enjoyable. I feel more relaxed outside. And uh, all in all, it is the, the vocation and the lifestyle that I, I always hoped it would be now. That's amazing, and you deserve it. You really do. Thanks. Thanks very much. Well, it's it's down to down to you and well, down to your material that, that things have changed around that much. Well, you know, and you had the uh, the know how to get in and implement it. There's both of those. Yeah, yeah. I knew, and, and I give you a tremendous amount of respect for that. Cheers. Well, no, I mean, I, it's it, it's fantastic. The, the material is all it's all completely it's great, but it's common sense, and it's it's fun going through it and uh, you know it's good to have the catch-up calls um every few weeks as well because it you know it's, it's inspirational and it just adds another level to to what i'm doing all the time excellent any anything else uh, you think is valuable for dc to know or you want to share from your experience um yeah i, I just say as an overall thing um you know practice doesn't have to be difficult it doesn't have to be stressful and you know it, it, it your dreams can come true it can be the you know the, the kind of job or vocation even the life the lifestyle that you always hoped it would be and as long as you, if you just practice in in a way that's congruent with with what you believe in your philosophy absolutely you couldn't have said it better and you're you're doing it and you're living it and i give you a ton of respect for it and your patience will be to have you. Thanks very much. Well, yeah, cheers. Yours too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Andrew. Thank you so much for getting on the line and sharing your experience with uh, other DCs. Cheers. Pleasure. Right. Bye. Bye. Bye.